Do you want to add a wishlist option onto your Shopify store? Like for example on this store where customers have the option to add certain products onto a wishlist, this is then also going to show up? Well, in today's tutorial I will show you step by step how to achieve something similar to this right here. Now adding a wishlist is a pretty easy and fast forward way of actually first of all improving the overall shopping experience of your customers and secondly also improving the conversion rate. Now I can can't guarantee you nothing with this, but, but usually adding a wishlist is a pretty nice way of slightly increasing the conversion rate, thus resulting in more money for you. Now obviously this is also going to come down to the niche and to the product which you are going to sell. For example this is going to work slightly better on luxury niche or uh, luxury based uh, stores as for example when someone is going to purchase a ring for uh, 700 euros um, adding a wishlist makes sense because then they can always go back to that wishlist see all of their products and so on. Obviously for stores where you do have more products this is also a good way also that customers can keep track of which ones they want to buy and so on. So there are definitely a lot of advantages for this and let's actually get started by heading over to the Shopify dashboard and let's move forward with this. First of all if you don't already have a Shopify store you can always get the best Shopify free trial deal down below with the link down below. Now either way so once we are right here we will actually have to open up the Shopify app store. So head over to settings on the bottom left, open up apps and sales channels and then open up the app store right here. Now usually as frequent viewers actually know I'm not that big of a fan of actually adding tons of different apps onto your store because if you are going to have 10 or 20 apps this can actually significantly reduce the overall loading speed of your store which can then actually hurt the conversion rate. And loading speed is one of the key things which actually hurts your conversion rate so really this is super important. However I've actually did my research and I found 2-3 to three options which are actually pretty lightweight for your store while it's actually also giving you tons of different functionality. So right here make sure to just look for wishlist. As you can see there are basically uh, tons of different apps, 360 to, exact, uh, to be exact, uh, which you can use to achieve something like a wishlist. As you can see I'm right now going through all of them. Um, now to be honest I didn't go through all of the apps myself, however I've actually reviewed the top ones right here and I found some pretty good options. So first of all let's open up Vitals, let's open up Hulk Advanced Reviews, let's open, open up Switch right here. And let's open also Wishlist Hero. So let's quickly go through them. Each of them are going to be for different use cases. Now Vital is an all-in-one app which I highly recommend. As you can see when now looking at the demo store and um, you do have Vital's volume discount. You do have a size chart in, inside Vital's. You do have the Vital's Wishlist app where you can then actually add products to a wishlist. This will then also automatically send out emails and so on. You can then add payment logos and a whole lot of other stuff like reviews. And um, this is kind of an all-in-one app so if you already have vitals make sure to actually use the feature inside vitals um, otherwise if you're just going to purchase this for the uh, for the wish list this is going to be a little bit too pricey at 30 bucks per month um, but this is actually a pretty worth it app if you're going to use all of the features I will leave you a link down below I think I have an affiliate link but even if not vitals is a pretty great app to get started out improving your conversion rate and your products uh, product stores now when looking at Hulk Advanced Wishlist, as you can see this is how their app is going to look like, pretty similar. You're going to have a product edit button and you can then view that right here and you can then see the, you can see the wishlist essentially. Now the big upside of Hulk is that it actually is pretty affordable. As you can see you are just going to start at $4.90 per month which in my opinion definitely is worth it. You're also going to get a free day free trial so you can just test this out and you can actually also use this for free um, when testing the app on development source for before launching and um, kind of the same goes for Swish this would be the premium option starting at 19 bucks per month depending on your plan you are going to have a 30 day free trial once again this would be a premium option of adding wishlist and um, big brands like Carhead, Birkenstock, Chubbies and so on do use Swish but in my opinion they are a little bit too pricey given that you aren't really going to get a whole lot of 
more features than on all of the other apps. And then the free option out there would be Wishlist Hero. Now, as you can see, with Wishlist Hero, you are going to have a completely free option. Then the silver plan is going to start at $4 per month. So pretty affordable. And when right now looking at this, you can, for example, see this. And you're also going to have an add to wishlist button. And you can then actually see the wishlist on the bottom right. You can open this up. And this is going to give us the option to actually see all of the products inside our wishlist. So let's actually install this and let's set this up. Click on install right here and then simply just wait until this gets loaded up. Click on install once again. And now we can customize everything inside right here. First of all, we will have to enable Wishlist Hero in our store. So just open this up right here. And this is then going to redirect us onto the Shopify dashboard where we will have to add the Wishlist button right here. So let's quickly do that. I'm simply just going to uh, add that and I'm then going to basically drag this under the buy buttons. Yeah, I think something like this actually works really good. Let's actually save this for now. Head back and let's head back right here. We will then have to customize the colors of our theme. Now in this case, um, basically right here, we will have to, uh, you can then customize this uh, depending on your own colors. So you can set a background color for the button. In this case, I'm going to, uh, for a kind of black and white theme. So I'm just going to add black as a background color so that this, fans, uh, the, so that th this fits the overall brand uh, more. We can then change the text color, icon color, and we can basically change everything inside here. Then actually save this and make sure to then select all is working. Once you've launched this, click on configure right here. And then we will have to actually go over the general configuration. First of all, I do want this to show up as a menu item, like on all of the other products as well. So this will then show up as a menu item. Now we will have to actually add this. We will simply just have to <coughs> open up the navigation menu inside Shopify. Once you are here, select your main menu and add a new menu item. Then head back to Wishlist Hero and copy this text right here. Hero minus Wishlist. Make sure to then insert this and important, select it right here. Then change the label to something like Wishlist. And now this is going to show up under our menu bar. We can also add it onto our header menu or onto our floating, uh, floating button. But in my case, I'm fine with the menu item. We can then actually also display the wishlist model as a pop-up window. Or we can actually show the add to cart button. Or we can actually also set it up as a separate page, which is what I'm going to do right now. So we can then actually also change the appearance. We can change the overall button style. We can pick a color for the button slash icon. So in this case, I'm once again going to go for kind of a grayish option. We can change, we can add an animation. So I'm just going to add a shake, something like this. We can add, uh, we can add an icon. We can add the wishlist page customization. We can actually also add a notification bar on the right, on the bottom right, for example, or we can add it onto the center. And we can actually also insert multiple languages if you want to. In my case, I just have English as the only language on my store. So I'm just going to go for that. However, if you do want to actually change any of the text inside right here, you can actually always do that. And as you can see, the wishlist hero setup is super straight forward and super easy to understand so really and this can be done within a couple of minutes and you won't have to be a coder or anything similar to actually know how this works so now I actually save this and then head back to the wishlist hero tab as you can see, you can actually also track key wishlist metrics and you can then actually integrate stuff like Klaviyo, Google, Meta and so on to basically automate personalized email reminders, for example, with Klaviyo so that whenever someone is going to have for uh, something in a wishlist, uh, after 10 days, they're going to receive an uh, email. Hey, make sure to check out this and that here's a discount or something similar. Um, I made a Klaviyo tutorial in the past, so make sure to check that out. It's on my channel. Either way, let's now actually look at our online store and let's now actually quickly preview it. So I'm just going to open this up. Let's now, for example, look at this clothing, uh, this product right here. Let's add this onto our wish list. Now we have this uh, pop-up right here on the bottom right. We can view this wish list on the top and this is then going to give us the overview of this wish list right here. Perfect. Now, I think this is actually a pretty good way of actually adding a wish list, given that this is completely free to use and you can actually set this up in a couple of minutes. Now, either way, if you found this video helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.